six-man tag team match. team starts off can make all the difference. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. Oh, you're right. Big fight deal here, no doubt. And so what are your thoughts right now about Xavier Woods? Xavier Woods' superior intellect, superb conditioning, and unique way of combining speed with air attacks makes him difficult to prepare for. Woods looks to hit an opponent with a varied attack from the ground and the air. Any way you look at it, Xavier Woods is impressive from bell to bell. Definitely looking good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're coming to you live from sunny Tampa on the west coast of Florida. Two, three. Bray Wyatt spots the opening. King, earlier you talked about Xavier Woods' variety of skills and something that impresses me just as much as his strikes and acrobatics is his knowledge of different holds and submissions. Woods is highly educated in the art of submission wrestling, counters, and reversals. Well, Cole, Xavier Woods can put a beating on an opponent in so many different ways. Like the song says, Funk is on a roll, and Xavier Woods is rolling straight to the top of WWE. He makes the tag. That suplex was picture perfect. He makes the tag. Sometimes the best offense is a great defense, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Kofi Kingston is one of the most exhilarating performers WWE has ever seen. 
Kofi's a multiple-time Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, and Camel Clutch! He needs to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hold. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he gonna do next? Oh! Kingston has an answer for that one. You know, my jaw always seems to hit the floor at least once per Kofi Kingston match. This guy's unreal. Oh, no. Big E with the opening. One of Kofi's early rivalries that really put him on the map was his battle in 2009 with Randy Orton. That's the first time the world really saw a different kind of fire in Kofi to defend himself in everything he stood for. Three. I don't like the way that head shook. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause Four. massive damage. Five. He doesn't want to Six. do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Seven. Eric Rowan looking to capitalize. Straight kick right to the head. Nothing fancy about that. Oh, wow. You know, I think one of the most chilling thoughts anyone can have is trying to picture what Aaron Rowan's personal life is like. Well, we know he spends most of his time with the other Wyatt family members, but I'm kind of curious if he wears that lamb mask around the house. Actually, on second thought, I don't even need to know. Quick thinking to avoid that. Looking to be in great shape here. It doesn't appear as though any damage has been done. The most important thing to remember, Michael, whether Eric Rowan is in the ring pummeling some poor opponent or hunting some animal somewhere in the swamps, the other Wyatt members are sure to be close by. And you can guarantee those buzzards are too. for the cover. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. Absolutely amazing. The world is watching and I guarantee you they're going to love it. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Yeah. Brutal. Second time around. Seems to work, though. We all know how important it is to make a good first impression. Well, Big E certainly shared his philosophy on that in his WWE debut when the incredible powerhouse attacked John Cena on Monday Night Raw. At that moment, it was known who Big E was working for and what he was hired to do. Yeah, Michael, Big E's debut sent shockwaves throughout sports entertainment. It's your first time on Raw, and you go after John Cena? The franchise? I mean, Big E's not just an intimidator, he's a smart man. Big E knew exactly what he was doing that night in December of 2012. Not today, too fast. The human body can only absorb so much of that. I guess with Big E's background and ultra competitive and physical sports, what did anyone expect? He'd walk through the ring and introduce himself to John Cena bearing gifts. Big E knew he needed to send a message. He needed to make a statement. And where else better to do that than Monday Night Raw? Looking to get on a roll here. I'm not sure I can watch this. This guy's kicks are so impactful. Well, we're on the move here.
And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Choke slam, tough to combat that one. Yeah, tough to get up after that one as well. They're still alive. Yeah, Cole, you remember that song back in the day? Staying alive? Well, that was it in WWE terms. You know, Cole, you talked about it before, but it's important to remember. The way Big E debuted said a lot about him, and yes, first impressions are important, especially here in the WWE. Big E's first explosion on Raw let everyone in that locker room know a new superstar was on the scene. And he'd be handing out beatdowns for a long, long time. Quick thinking to avoid that. Look out! Why well, he's got his opponent. What's he going for here? People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. With all of Xavier Woods' knowledge and talent in the ring, it should not surprise anyone that he's so innovative offensively, he has two finishing moves. The honor roll is an amazing forward flip that ends with a clothesline, and the into the woods can rip a shoulder right out of its socket. And it's Xavier Woods executing the reversal. Three. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. And Xavier Woods has all the momentum once more. I'm not sure I can watch this. Five. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep Six. it in the ring, guys. Rowan is looking for something big here. Jerry, earlier you described the awesome finishing moves that Xavier Woods has utilized here in WWE. Both the honor roll and into the woods display Xavier's proficiency with acrobatic assaults and makes the cover. One, two, Not today, too fast. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. Oh, watch out! My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. We're looking at complete domination here. Great move by Sherman. Nicely done by Sherman. He's moving like a man possessed. The shoulders are down. And he might have to do this by himself. His partner doesn't have much left. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of the Monte Fisto. It's the Monte Fisto. And there's the count. He goes to the quick pen attempt. Count, ref, count! Oh boy, I think the referee is out of it. Oh! What a match. Momentum has shifted back and forth repeatedly between these superstars. And the ref starts the count. Hey, what a move! And here comes Xavier Woods. With achievements that include a PhD in educational psychology, Xavier Woods first turned incredible move by Xavier Woods. The shoulders are down. One, two. The referee getting involved now. And there's the count. And there's the fisherman suplex fishing for a quick end to this one. Yeah, really, man. I think you got him. Be 
Big E tagged in. And now he's back out on the apron. Xavier Woods had a reputation of exciting crowds and frustrating opponents, and ever since he came to WWE, he's done just that. Woods has battled the likes of Rusev, the Wyatt family. That's it. He's done. Shoulders down. And the rest starts to count. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Uh-oh. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. If he suffers much more, he may lose all mobility in that shoulder. Yeah, that shoulder could become completely dislocated. Here we go. Bray Wyatt setting it up. Running sent time. This one's in the books. Call it a night. And once more, Bray Wyatt for the cover. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. A major highlight for Big E came on November 18th, 2013, when he won the Intercontinental Championship. That night on Raw, he bulldozed over Curtis Axel in my home state of Tennessee. So you know that's an extra special night right there. And Curtis Axel, well, here's the cover. It's not very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. Oh, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. Now that's a finishing move. Here he goes for the win. Let's do this. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. I think I heard something cracked after that knee to the chops. You think that was his teeth breaking? When Eric Rowan gets his blood flowing like this, when he starts getting going with this type of offense, you better prepare. Astonishing maneuver by Eric Rowan. Great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars the WWE have to offer. We're looking at complete domination here. Bray Wyatt comes in off the tag. And he finally gets out of the ring. Look out. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Two. Three. So good to be back in Tampa tonight. There are so many rabid WWE fans here in the Sunshine State.
You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Scaling the turnbuckle, Kofi Kingston wants to fly. Now, oh, they're taking a risk here. That's how you win matches. Will it be? And there's the count. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. <gasps> so damaging. He is just getting busted up. What a match! The shoulders are down! One, two. Adding insult to potential injury there. Look at this! Good grief! How is he still conscious? There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. And here's the tag. He's in bad shape. He's got to make the tag. Oh, that's devastating. Eric Rowan is... Oh, that's going to put an end to this one. some good work here. And Eric Rowan getting it done. Oh, he's going for the pin. This could be it. I think he's got him. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. And here's some highlights from the matchup. surprised by the outcome, Cole. When it's your night, it's your night. I wasn't completely convinced these three were on the same page throughout the entire match, but they were certainly able to overcome any potential issues to pick up the win. 